Buffalo Bill Jr. with his little sister, Calamity. Buffalo Bill Jr. brings you exciting action. Thrill and fun with Judge Ben Fair and Square, Wiley. Ride the road to adventure with Buffalo Bill Jr. These men fought and died for the 7th Cavalry. They were young men. Their commander, George Armstrong Custer, was 22 when he graduated from West Point, 37 when he died under a flag and a gun at the Little Bighorn. The history of the West is filled with the names of heroic men, young men, some of them forgotten in the dusty pages of time. But there's one young fella whose name will never be forgotten. Not by me, anyhow. Because in a way, I named him myself. I found him after Indians attacked a wagon train. He was a mere child at the time, parents both killed in the massacre. I found him wandering through the Black Hills with a baby safe in his arms, wrapped in a buffalo robe. The baby was his sister. I adopted the homeless Bridger kids. I named the girl Calamity. The boy I called Buffalo Bill Jr. Where's my sister, Mr. Barr? How do I know? Well, she came up here to get a lesson on the telegraph key. I ain't got no time today to teach lessons. Look out that window. You know, Apache smoke signals. That's why I'm here. Well, she's been smoking since noon. So are these wires. The Army figures we're in for some trouble. They've even hired a special. With soldiers on it? I don't know. All that Army stuff comes through in code. So far, I've only been able to catch one word. Geronimo. What time my sister head back for town? She didn't. She rode up towards the Indian agency. He'll be right out. What's your hurry, kid? Nothing. My sister rode out this way alone. Mr. Ford! I said he'd be right out. Sister rode by here half an hour ago. The fellow she's with looked like an Apache. Well, why didn't you stop her? This guy's full of smoke. My job as an Indian agent is to stop war, not go chasing after some crazy kid. One of the judge called you calamity. You bring calamity to everybody. How long have you been tied next to that tree? I wasn't tied there at all. Here's your rope and arrows, Chiquila. I'm sorry about him. He's just something I have to put up with. He's my brother. And who's he? Chiquila, he's my friend. Do all your friends make you stand next to a tree while they shoot arrows at you? Don't be silly, Bill. He was just showing me what the Apaches might do if they caught me out here. He's an Apache himself. No. Me, Mescalero. The Mescaleros hate Geronimo as much as we do. Have you seen the smoke signals? Geronimo's on the warpath. Geronimo's not on the warpath. 
He's been captured. He's been what? At Chiquila. Hmm. Chief Geronimo at Fort Yuma now. Soldiers soon take him to prison in far away Florida on special train. That's funny. I just stopped by Wiley Junction. Not even Telegraph has that. Sometime white man Telegraph not so fast as Indian smoke signal. Well, I don't care what the smoke says. The judge says if you don't hurry on home, it'll be your britches that are smoking. Here's your killer. White man ways often primitive. came to the wrong place. I only got about $13 in the cash drawer. How much you got in your pockets? About six bucks. I work for this railroad. I don't own it. I guess they don't pay you much. How would you like to have $10,000 in your pocket? For doing what? By helping catch an Apache by the name of Geronimo. You're a little late, mister. It's coming over the wire right now. They already captured Geronimo. Yeah, I know. And the government's paid $20,000 for him. Now, if Geronimo should get loose, They'd have to pay that reward again, maybe even double it. If Geronimo got loose. Well, that's where you come in. You see, we split the second reward. How about a thousand in cash to bind the deal? You interested? Shake a federal prisoner loose from the army? They're bringing Geronimo on a special train. All you've got to do is listen to that key. Military orders come through in code. I don't know the army code. No, but you know the railroad code. All you've got to do is give me the schedule of a train, a special train. Rooted east of Florida from Fort Yuma. Interested? Mister, this is a sample of a holdup. <laughs> I sure like holdups. Hurry up, sis. Why, well, you're Jed Ford. My money's still good, ain't it? Get rid of that kid. My next telegraph lesson some other time, Mr. Bauer. My brother says I have to go straight home. Now run along. I'm busy. We're both busy. Sure. Besides Bauer. Jed Ford. Why? Well, I saw Stan Redding out in the back holding the horses. Stan Redding worked for the Indian Agency. He had to wait for his boss. Isn't it natural he'd be holding the horses? Out front, maybe. Not in the rocks in back. Well, they both did act kind of nervous. Besides, it's not raining. What's rain got to do with it? Jed Ford was wearing a raincoat. A raincoat? and holding his Coke 44 inside his hat. Keep riding toward Indian rocks. Lead my horse. Run him. Why? Two reasons. First, I say so. Second, I want him to hear both horses. Why can't you take the horses and I'll go back? Two very good reasons. First, you're my sister. Second, because you're just a kid. I'm a kid. What do you think you are, Bill Bridger? special goes through Coyote Canyon. I tell Geronimo's Apache, and his Apache stopped the train. Yeah, but it's sort of like double-crossing my own country. Oh, no, not at all. After Stan and I collect the Apache bribe money, we trail Geronimo. Tip off the soldiers where they can find him. He gets caught again, the reward's paid again, the government can afford the money, so who gets hurt? Only Geronimo. I guess so.
something wrong? You bet. What do we do? First, we'll get you home. Second, we'll tell the judge. Each and every slice is baked so very nice in delicious sunbeam bread. It's fresh as it can be. It's full of energy. Nutritious sunbeam bread. It stays fresh so long. It's baked to make you good and strong. Delicious sunbeam bread. Sunbeam, it's better. Sunbeam, it's better. Sunbeam bread. It's fresh as it can be. It's full of energy. Nutritious sunbeam bread. The best you can buy for sandwiches that satisfy. Delicious sunbeam bread. We've got to act fast, Judge. That train's probably left you already. I'll notify Army headquarters. How? You ever hear Samuel Morris? He invented the telegraph. Well, you can't send a wire. Why can't I? Because Bowers in cahoots with Ford and Redding. And Mr. Bower runs the telegraph station himself. So we'll send a wire from some other station. It won't make any difference. Listen to her, Judge. She may be a dumb bunny in a lot of ways, but she knows the telegraph. No matter where you send a message from, it goes over the railroad wires. Anybody can hear it at any station, even Mr. Bower at Wiley Junction. But don't you see, Judge, if you send a wire, you'll just be tipping off Bauer. And that'll give him time to tip off Ford and Redding. The court stands corrected by the argument of the defense. What do you kids have in mind? Well, we'll let the train go ahead. In the meantime, Clam, you'll tell her friend Jaquila. The Mescaleros hate Geronimo's Apaches as much as we do. And they'll help us when the train gets to Coyote Canyon. We'll catch everybody red-handed. What do you think, Judge? The court thinks you both better be in jail. In jail! If I leave you loose, you're liable to get yourself hurt while I'm gone. Gone where? To Fort Yuma. How? If I can't use the telegraph, I'll have to go up there and I'll ride. On that pokey old mule? You kids walk right out to that jailhouse. You're sentenced to 48 hours protective custody. Get, get, go, come, come on. You'll never get to Port Yuma. Not on those Nelly. Yeah, he even took his medical case. I bet you plans on stopping at the Coleman Ranch to see how Mrs. Coleman's getting along with her hay fever. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, fine. You tell me how. This symbol, three eagle feathers, means chief. And this one, lightning arrows, means swiftness. So it's up to the chief to get us out of here with swiftness. Well, those Indian signs on your shirt mean something, too. The arrowhead means alertness, and the thunderbird means bearer of happiness. So get alert and bear some happiness and figure out a way we can get out of this jail. I'm thinking. Yeah, and I'm waiting, too. Bill, how'd you manage to get that door open? Because it wasn't locked, you little pipsqueak. Why wasn't it locked? Well, how should I know? Let's roll. Saddle up. Ride straight to the Indian Reservation and get your friend Jaquila. And we'll all meet at San Pedro Siding. That's wrong. What's wrong? You meant interrogation. Now, you got me so mixed up, I'm sending dots when I ought to send dashes. Want me to run your key for you, Danny? Look, kid. Why don't you go back over to Wiley Junction and get another lesson from Sparks Bauer? I don't need another lesson, not to show you how to send interrogation. It's a dash, dot, 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 dot. Look, kid, for the last time, you're getting out of here. Now, March. Take your hands off my sister. He hit me, Bill. Well, I never even... He did, Billy. He hit me right in the jaw. He did, huh? Like this? Oh, I hope you didn't hurt him, Bill. He's really a very honest fellow. Yeah, well, sometimes a fellow's so honest, the only way you can get him to cooperate is to knock him out. Sit on him, Jaquila. Mm. What's that thing saying? 
Special train still runs on military code. That means Geronimo's still on it. What time will we get to Coyote Canyon? Mid-morning. There's another train running ahead of it. A mail train. Only two cars. Shall we use that one? If you really know how to run that thing, now's your chance to prove it, sis. Contact the colonel at Fort Yuma. Say, here's a correction. Not an army code either, in straight Morse. Where is it from? Oh, I know where it's from. I told you before, all these messages come over the same wire. But it says they're transferring the prisoner to another train. What train? A mail train. The army's playing it smart. What time is a mail train due to go through Coyote Canyon? About an hour before the special. There's two cars on it. Well, it doesn't make any difference what train we get Geronimo off of, just as long as we get him off. You better go out and tell his Apache banners to be at Coyote Canyon an hour sooner. How do you like the way I handle the key, Bill? Say, you're great. Tequila, tell your Mescaleros they want to catch a lot of Geronimo's men to get out to Coyote Canyon, pronto. But tell them there's a lot of white men on that train also. Mescaleros have no war with white men. We fight on the Geronimo. Good. You stay here, sis. Miss anything on the wires? No message came in, Danny. Sorry my brother hit you so hard. He was only trying to do the right thing. Money talks, but it takes little to buy a big help to health and energy. Sunbeam bread. When you buy sunbeam bread, you buy extra energy for your family, a help to better health. Got your shopping list handy? Add energy-packed, extra delicious sunbeam bread. Here. I followed Jed Forrest from Wally Junction last night. He's about a half a mile over in those rocks. Stan Redding just rode up. Thought you'd like to know. Boy, that valley's full of Geronimo's Apaches. It's full of Tequila's Indians, too. Those men on the train. I wish there was some way we could warn them of the attack. There is a way. That's shooting. There goes our Indians. Get here. They sure don't look like Geronimo's Apaches. Shooting at Geronimo's Apaches. Hey, that's second try. That's a Muscalero try. Yeah, we've been framed somehow. Look, while the Indians are so busy fighting, the train got away. Come on, let's get out of here.
cattle train. It got through the canyon. We caught everybody red-handed. All but one. This time my sister's not here to take lessons, Spark. She's here to give one. You can't believe everything you hear on that Morse key, Mr. Bauer. You kids ought to be spanked. I rode all the way to Port Yuma for nothing. And that ain't easy on that mule. Shh. Huh? Clarity's getting a message. Both trains got safely through Coyote Canyon. Sylvia in Florida in that nice, cool federal prison, Chief. While us troopers out at Fort Yuma sweat out the summer on a hot army post. Be sure to write us a postcard, Mr. Geronimo. The court recognizes you kids did a fine job, but you're under arrest for breaking jail. We didn't break jail. You left the door unlocked. Kind of careless of you, Judge. Careless? Suppose there'd been a fire in that jail. Suppose I'd carelessly left you kids locked in. You get 10 days each for finding out that door wasn't locked. 10 days? In jail? Well, sentence suspended. Let's go home, kids. I didn't get to finish my ironing. You'll hear the Sunbeam Baker say, Sunbeam Energy, that's the way to make our Sunbeam bread the best. Better, better, better than all the rest. Bake it well, make it ring the bell. Sunbeam must be fresh and pure. With Sunbeam Energy, you'll be sure. Sunbeam's better. That's a fact. It's Sunbeam bread and it's energy packed. Sunbeam Energy, Energy Packed. Sunbeam Energy, Energy Packed. Sunbeam Energy, Energy Packed. You'll hear the Sunbeam Bakers say, Sunbeam Energy, that's the way to make our Sunbeam bread the best. Better, better, better than all the rest. Bake it well, make it ring the bell. Sunbeam must be fresh and pure. With Sunbeam Energy, you'll be sure. Sunbeam's better. That's a fact. It's Sunbeam bread and it's energy packed. Sunbeam Energy, energy packed. Sunbeam Energy, energy packed. Sunbeam Energy, energy packed. Buffalo Bill Jr. Now with his horse and with his gun, he's not afraid of anyone. No one's quicker on the draw or quicker to defend the law. Buffalo Bill Jr., Buffalo Bill Jr. He's the son of a son of a gun. Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill Jr. 